What's up everyone, Dusada98 here with another Gears of War review. And today we're going to be having a look at the Epic Edition Marcus Phoenix statue, which you got with for getting the Epic Edition of Gears of War 3. You know, uh, the Epic Edition retails at a hundred and twenty-nine or a hundred fifty, I believe. This thing is worth every penny. You know, it, it's just, it's an outstanding looking statue. It, it's just awesome. Uh, it, it, it really represents Marcus from the game, you know, that, that iconic picture of Gears of War 3 where he's, you know, kneeling and holding the Lancer. It, it just looks so kick-ass. And uh, the sculpture is fantastic on Marcus's face. It, it, again, no one has nailed the scar yet of Gears of War 3. I'm going to say that. No one has nailed the scar yet. And sorry about the lighting, actually. Here you go. This might help. There you go. No one has nailed the, the, the scar yet of Gears of War 3, it's Marcus, um, because in Gears of War 3 it's faded than the other games, so they haven't quite nailed it yet, but, and a cool thing about this is people are saying it, it should have come with a, a, a light up uh, sh uh, shoulder here. It actually does, if you shine a light on it for a while, it actually will light up. As you can see, it, it kind of glows a little bit, because a light, when a light hits it for about a minute, it'll glow for like 30 seconds or something like that, which I think is cool that they added that. It would have been cool if, you know, it actually had a real light, but then it would have, you know, marked up the price. So, looks really nice. The gun is removable, which is nice. You have to put the uh, gun in his uh, hand there. Zoom back in here. He's got his watch right there. Both watches. It's cool. He's got his tattoo, which you can't really see. It's kind of faded. But I like the way they painted it. But it's there. And, uh, you know, I just think the head sculpt is dead on Marcus Phoenix. Some people I know don't. I think it's dead on. And uh, he's got his cog tags right there. Uh, and it just looks great. I, I can't really show you as much detail because, honestly, my light's not so good. So I can't show you really all the detail this thing really has. But the stand is uh, the, uh, like a Lambit emulsion stand, which I think is cool. We just turn him around. He's, he's got his uh, canteen up here. Just awesome. And then here, boom, you've got the Crimson Omen, which is a nice touch. The bottom, um, bit hollow. I don't care, though. It's uh, Gears of War 3. It says right there, and you can't really see it. It says Gears of War 3. And uh, it's got a little softy thing, so you don't scratch your surface. And this this just looks great on my... Um, my little stand outside of my living room on my uh, gaming center. It just looks awesome and badass standing there. And, um, you know, some of the awesome statues that are going to be standing next to this guy. Honestly, that's all I can really say. The detail is great. This is the pretty much the best market or one of the best Marcus Phoenix um, collectibles you can buy. I know the uh, Triforce bust is really sweet. And I do prefer the head sculpt over this. But this is still dead on in my opinion. And, uh, you know, just to think of some of the awesome statues that this guy, that this is going to be standing next to this guy. Batman will be standing next to him later this year. Uh, Drake. So, you know, some of, honestly, Game of the Year contender game characters are going to be standing next to this guy. And Gears of War 3 is my front contender right now. That's really all I can say about him. He is a fantastic looking um, statue. A lot of people have reviewed him already. I just thought I'd give my little opinion on him. And I think...